Let's give you a quick view of the property up here. And we're really highest peak kind of on the mountain right now. But uh, Robin moving the UTV. Wanted to just show you some of our areas uh, that we have out here and uh, a couple things that we have going on. But this is a, one of, it's our pure uh, boar right there. And then this is our, our old man right here. It's actually not old. He's only about a year and a half old, but as you can see, he is just uh, super, super lovable. Um, really just really wants to get behind the mirrors. So much so he becomes annoying uh, that when he's free ranging about, he'll come up and he'll just keep pushing you with his horns. As you can see, he's about to do if I stop right there. He's, look at him, look at him. He's like, hey, what about me? What about me? He's like, I thought we, I thought we were petting each other here. So, just a really, really good guy. And I'll tell you, when the predators come through, the coyotes or whatever they are, um, the ladies get behind him and they know that uh, this big guy here really looks almost like a horse, mini horse, is gonna do some really, really good protection. Hey, I wanted to take you down below to one of the pasture areas where we keep um, our pigs, or at least our little pigs, um, some of our turkeys, well actually all of our turkeys are up here now. A little guy just bit me on the toe. So you can see, uh, they see me and they come running thinking that there's food. But um, this area down below is uh, pretty nice in the sense that the goats have come in and done a, a really, really good job out here. And so we figured we'd move uh, some of our chickens down below, uh, protected by a lot of these big redwood trees. But I want to show you a little a stream that Enzo and I had built, or a, um, a reservoir into the stream that Enzo and I built. So it actually worked out really well for the uh, goats, the pigs, and the chickens. But um, just walk you down here a little bit. So it's a natural stream. We have uh, three streams, well, two streams and a, a full creek. Um, but we had put, you can see this kind of normal uh, feeding pen with into the stream so it it holds a good size of water regardless of how much water is flowing and this actually flows pretty year round but every once in a while you'll see the pigs laying in here um the goats and, and chickens messing in just this little area and it's really really been beneficial as you can see they're down here just rutting getting some roots out right now they've done an excellent job of assisting us in clearing this this wooded area but again i'll take you down and uh show you what we're doing with with some of the chickens here because we had just moved them down to this lower property uh we'll probably keep them down here because it's working well and with in this pen right here you'll see these are are all roosters um we're going to process them out uh we don't want to mix them and they're all rhode island reds we don't want to mix them out with um our keeper rooster and some of our hens so we'll process them probably this weekend and we'll show you uh, from start to finish how that how that looks. These right here, uh, this is our main Rhode Island red rooster. Got some um, Rhode Island red hens in there. And uh, it's a good, good group right here. Normally we'll move this cage every few days uh, so they get some, some fresh ground. Um, but uh, we do let them out alternating roosters and hens um, every other day, but right now they're just getting used to this area so they know where home is. This area right here is really just uh, only about maybe a quarter acre, maybe a little bit more, but this pasture area is the closest to the house, so we can keep track of, you know, predators and, and things coming in. We can generally hear anything that's happening here. Um, our goats have done a really, really good job of um, really securing the area. Let's see, let's walk you back up here real quick. So you can see these guys are constantly here and they're only a maybe a good three, four months old here. And I'd have to pull their tags to see exactly how old they are. But um, you can see we have a Yorkshire there and then a Chester in the floppy ear right there. And they've done a, again, look at them just rooting and really mixing up the soil. It's really what we want. We want, um, this area is we rotate them out to um, a new pasture that we have good fresh growth coming into this one. So we'll be doing a blog about uh, the new fence pasture that we're putting in uh, probably here in the next couple days. 
so that we can start rotating them out. Just wanted to add, again, just really look at these pigs. And again, I don't know their exact age without pulling their tag numbers on them, but uh, you can see big boy here, probably a little bit older than the rest. Like I said, I'd, I'd have to pull their tag numbers to see exactly when they were born, but you could see them just really coming through and free ranging and nothing's gonna be healthier than these guys right here. I tell you, they're, they're pretty amazing. Oh look, who joined us? This is a, I don't know if you can see this guy right here. This is who we call Boomerang. He's a pure Kiko, um, super, super tame guy. Just loves really being around people. The kids can pick him up and hold him like a baby. He will actually be our next buck um, that will, will lead the herd as we transition and uh, our buck breeds the next generation. Of course, we wanna make sure that we keep him fresh and of course don't cross him inappropriately. So he'll take over the herd probably in about a year. Um, don't know what we're gonna do with the main buck. He's been so good to us. Um, he'll probably live on the farm forever and maybe give him to a new area that's gonna uh, benefit from having a pure Kiko. Uh, he's beautiful temperament. I think I've shown him to you before, but if not, maybe I'll do a quick video on it. So the good thing about living in the Pacific Northwest is it's green. We have some of the best vegetation and you could grow just about anything here. The bad thing about the Pacific Northwest is all this mud. Um, it just, it really is unbearable. You can see our poor turkeys, um, especially our broad breasted whites really don't do well in this environment. They look pretty bad. Although they're getting new feathers in. Um, yeah, they're, they're looking pretty rough. But again, we can grow just about anything out here. And I just put in some fresh clippings uh, from trimming down below in the lower property and they're loving it. They went through this pretty, pretty quick. These fresh greens that I threw down there. These are uh, black Morans and uh, they're pretty amazing chickens. I think many of you know, uh, these hens and, and roosters generally go from 50 to 70 bucks a, a chicken. And uh, of course, these are sought after in, in the US uh, it, just for the deep down, uh, dark brown eggs that they, they give off. But good looking rooster right there. I don't know if we could see him. Let's see, right there. And uh, very protective of his ladies.